In this particular video, we will be creating a blog application on entirely in Django REST framework. And we also will be doing the authentication part of our blog application. So let's suppose a user, a specific user wants to create, this will be a multi user blog application. A user can create the blog, a user can read the blog. And if a user want, if you, if a user don't want to create the blog, if he only want to read the blog, he can do that stuff as well. And for authentication, we will be using JWT, which is a modern thing about authentication. So let me give you a demo what we are going to build in this video. So let's suppose a user is already in the database and we are hitting the same API again. So it will throw an error that username is already taken. And let's suppose we modify the user. So let's suppose we pass seven, or you can say eight. Okay, now let's hit. Now you can see a success message that your account is being created and also you can see the status code changes when we hit same API it throws an error that it's a bad request because the username is already taken also let's suppose we want to get the you can say JWT token so we can hit a get login API and it will throw an uh, like it will throw that token JWT token so you can see we have a refresh token and we have access token and you can we can use this token to create our own blog post or we can we, using this particular token we can update the blog post we can delete the blog post and let's suppose if a user want to see uh, other people blog posts so what he can do is we can he can go to this particular api uh, and we also have added the search functionality as well so let's suppose if you want to see the blog post so now you can see a random blog post pulling from the database so this is the first blog post you can see Lauren Epson blog let's suppose we hit again so now you can see we are getting the random data that's very important let's suppose you you go on some website and you get some random data then you feel okay this is something new and this is what happens on medium and other part of other like blogging website you get some random blog posts so that it won't like affect that okay you are seeing the same blog post again and again and also we have added search functionality uh, we can add a search key in the request parameter and let's suppose we only want to fetch the blog posts who have uh, this text inside them a standard dummy so we can pass this thing and hit enter now we have only one blog post that's called that has this particular text standard dummy and let's if we do some random send some random text then if it doesn't matches to the database it will throw an empty list okay so this is kind of a blog post or you can say blog application which we are going to create and this is very very awesome so yeah let's start and uh, first of all we are going to install virtual environment or you can say create a virtual environment so we can type virtual env and we will name it as env let's activate our virtual environment should be env okay and now let's install django so we can type pep install django and we are going to install django this framework because for creating apis we need django this framework as well so we can install that and we can clear our console so now let's create an application or you can say project django project so we can type django admin start project and we will name it as blog okay now we can cd into blog and we can open it in vs code and the first step which we are going to create in this is called accounts app because first of all like i have already told in, in the video that uh, we are going to create a blog application where user can authenticate user can create blog user can read blog and for this for authentic authentication we will be using jwt that's called json web token and uh, let's like uh, first of all fix our accounts app then we can see go in the later part of the video where we can create a blog application as well so now what we can do is python manage.py and let's start app that's called account okay and let's go in our settings.py and first of all add a rest framework so that our django can use rest framework okay and uh, what we can do is we can add accounts app okay now let's go to the accounts app and uh, let's 
इसको इन द लेट्स क्रिएट अ फाइल कॉल्ड सीडलाइजर लाइजर डॉट पी वाई लेट्स इंपोर्ट फ्रॉम जेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क लेट्स इंपोर्ट सीडलाइजर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ रजिस्टर सीडलाइजर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बी फिगरिंग दैट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ रजिस्टर राउट सो लेट्स गो एंड क्रिएट क्लास रजिस्टर सीडलाइजर एंड गेट सीडलाइजर डॉट we will not be using model serializer and the first thing that's called username so models sorry serializer dot uh, char field and uh, next will be password is equal to serializer dot this will also be a char field okay now what we can do is we can create a validate method which will check whether this particular username is taken or not if the user name is taken we cannot create that particular user we can raise an exception that this user is already belongs to an uh, like this user name is taken we can throw in some kind of error message so we can type def uh, validate and uh, in validate we can pass our data parameter and we can check okay so what we can do is we can like uh, query on the database so for that we need to import model from django dot uh, contrib dot art dot models let's import what user okay now what we can do is user dot objects dot filter username is equal to data dot username okay and we can type dot exist then what we can do is we can return or you can say raise an exception raise serializer dot validation error username is taken okay otherwise what we can do is we can return the data so now our serializer is good to go we can go into the views dot py and we can import response and api view so we can go in the documentation we can go in the views and what we can do is we can import the response and api view okay so let's create and def register view and we can pass api view okay and it will accept and post method so we can create post method def post and these all the things which i have already told in the in the in the video which you can check in the description section or you can check on the channel as well so it will take self what's api view what's model set pagination and all the things i have already told so it's we'll take a request parameter okay and then we can open a try let's import from what you can say from dot serializer let's import let's a serializer okay and try data is equal to request dot data okay and uh, let's check serializer is equal to register serializer and data is equal to data and let's check if not serializer dot is valid what we can do is we can return and respond error response okay and message we can pass like uh, serializer dot errors and uh, no this will be in data and we can type a message something went wrong and also we can add a status so we can copy to the status code where it's we can search status codes okay from this framework let's import a status okay and in the status what we can pass that uh, bad request okay so status is equal to status dot http 400 bad request okay now we can accept exception as e and we can return something some sort of error message if error is caught otherwise okay 
so now what we can we need to do is we need to create a save method inside serializer so serializer dot save and we can return response your account is created okay and we can return an status of 200 it's okay so we can copy this thing okay and now what we can we can again go to the status code and we can status 201 created okay now this api is done now we can go into the save method so we can create the date uh, like user dev uh, what we can do is also we can take use first name and last name as well so first name is equal to serializer dot care field and we can take last name as well last name okay so def create okay so what we can do is user is equal to user dot objects dot create first name is equal to validated data of first name fir first name and last name is equal to validated data of last name okay and then we can add username validated data of username then we can create user dot set password and validated data of password and what we can do is we can return validated data and let's test this api let's open our postman okay let's close everything don't save don't save let's run the server python manage dot py run server and we haven't added like uh, there is one thing wrong you can go to settings that should be account and um, let's create a one more folder that will hold all the api okay render init method then we can have a urls dot py and here we will include all our urls so first of all that will be from account dot views let's import what register view and let's add the url path or otherwise we can create a urls.py over here also so it will hold only the urls which we are create which is responsible for handling this app only okay from path register slash register view dot as view okay now it's good to go and uh, let's go in the, this particular route let's import include path account slash include what should be include account dot urls okay now this will work uh, let's add over here path api slash include api dot urls and okay now it should work perfectly fine and let's run the server okay function has attribute uh, let's go to the views uh, from this framework should be class okay 
now you can see a server is running let's open this in port and you can see the route we can go to the slash api then we have account then we have our register route okay so we can copy this thing and we can go into the postman and we can hit register and then we hit should be post first name last name username password is required and we got a status of 400 that's called bad request what we have sent from here uh, 400 400 and uh, let's add these detail and let's test out we are able to successfully create the user or not so we can go to the json and we can name it as first name and the first name is abhijit last name is what the and let's add username 001 and also one more thing which which we need to like figure that out that uh, let's suppose someone types abhijit so abhijit uh, 001 is different uh, like you can say uh, here here we are writing capital a so we should what we do is we need to uh, in the serializer dot method if we can convert this thing to lower dot lower so what it will do it will continue uh, completely lowercase con convert this into lowercase so that uh, if someone type this if someone type this that should be same so we can do a uh, password field is also required password let's add one two three okay let's hit uh something went wrong uh what's the error let's go in views let's print e let's hit uh username okay we have uh, username here this one okay let's hit again something went wrong again what's happening uh no such tip oh sorry uh, we need to migrate python manage.py migrate also let's create python manage.py create super user admin let's run the server let's hit your account is created and let's go into the admin panel okay user now we can see a user is successfully created and once uh, if we will like hit again so it will throw an error that username is already taken and we can see a 400 bad request so now we have we have like successfully done the uh, like registration part of this particular uh, you can say api now we can go to the authentication part and for authentication for jwt we will be using a third party library that's called uh, simple jwt so let's go django simple jwt and this is the library which we are going to use for jwt so pip install django this framework simple jwt let's stop the console clear the screen let's paste and uh, now it's done and uh, we need to add these things okay let's go in the settings.py and let's paste okay so now what we can do is we can create a route that will help us to create or you can say get the token so what we can do is we can create a class of login and api view and we can create a serializer so that we can validate we need first username and password so we can create a, another serializer that uh, class or login serializer it will take a serializer dot serializer method class and we can copy this thing from here username 
and also we can write uh, the logic which we can do in login uh, validate method so let's check whether this particular user exists or not so let's do that thing over here in validate method so here what we need to do is we need to if not so what we can do is account not found account not found okay uh, let's go and create a login route okay so def of post will take a self and it will take a request again we can open a try let's take data is equal to request dot data okay let's import as well let's pass data is equal to data and let's check if if not serializer dot is valid we can so we can copy this thing from here okay and otherwise if it is valid what we can do is we can you can say create a method over here def get jwt token okay self data so for generating a token what we can do is we can go into the you can say uh creating tokens manually so we can import this thing okay and uh, first of all we need to check whether the user has entered the correct username or password so for that we have already have a method in django uh, you can what that method is called authenticate so we can import that method as well so from django dot contrib dot auth let's import what authenticate okay so this method will help us to get the whether this particular user name user has entered the correct information or not so let's take user is equal to authenticate and we can type data data of username and we can type password is equal to data of password okay so let's check if not user then we can return so let's authenticate and uh, if uh, not user what we can return uh, we can return a message invalid credentials and data of this okay and otherwise what we can do is we can generate a token refresh it's equal to refresh token dot get underscore token and we can pass user object over over here and here we can return uh, the message that uh, and move on return we can type login success and uh, for token what we can go over here we can go to generate uh, creating tokens manually then we can return this thing we can copy this thing refresh okay and we can create a value of token and we can return this thing okay so what we can do now we can remove this thing we can add one more okay so now this function can work uh, get jwt token we can go into the views.py and we can get serializer dot get jwt token we can response is equal to and we can now just copy okay so data is equal to response okay uh, status of uh, we can change the status code because uh, we are not creating something we can we, we are just giving the you can say status codes and uh, here we can okay 
okay so now let's test this thing login we can register this route okay login view we can copy this thing we can go to the urls uh which urls this urls we can copy paste we can copy this thing we can cut copy paste login and let's just test this thing okay so let's go something went wrong okay sorry we haven't added the data thing over here so we can go to the views.py and here what we need to do is we need to add the data so serializer dot data now it should work we can go okay what's uh, refresh token has no attribute get token okay it should be for users sorry uh go to your serializer uh now we can test it should work fine so now you can see we are able to get the token so when we pass something uh some like wrong username it should throw an error that account not found and if the account is correct we haven't we have send some wrong password it will throw an error that okay what is the okay what is happening sorry we have so invalid credential it's throwing okay so if we pass the correct password we can go we can it will go through and correct you can say refresh token and access token so now till now we have completed the jwt thing now we can move to the thing that's called a blog application so let's go and create one more you can say app that's called that will be that will be capable of handling all the blog application so python manager.py start app and the app name let's name it as home okay and let's go in home first of all we will create a base model so class of base model and we can type models dot model and we can have a uid field so let's import uuid import uuid so models dot uuid field primary key is equal to true editable is equal to false default is equal to uuid id dot uuid of false okay and then now otherwise we can create a created at is equal to models dot date field auto now add is equal to true and we can have one more field that's called updated at so we can updated at okay and we can add one more meta class that will help us to treat this particular model as a base model so we can type abstract equal to true and now we can create a blog model blog and it should base model and we can have a first of all a blog should have a title is equal to models dot care field and max length of we can add 500 and uh, text or you can say block text you can have this will be we will have a text field okay and then we will have a user which will be the owner of this particular blog so user is equal to models dot foreign key we will have a user and on delete models dot cascade and we will have the related name is equal to blog okay so let's import a user model as well from django 
dot contrib dot auth dot models put user so now we have uh, three fields that first one is a user model uh, which is the owner of the of this particular model then we will have a title model uh, title you can say block title then we will have a block text text okay and it should be text field okay and we will have created and updated it over here and also like blog have what images so we can have image so image is equal to like main image main underscore image is equal to models dot uh, image field and upload to is equal to block underscore image or you can say we will create a folder called blocks okay uh, now I think we are good to go okay so let's uh, run migration hit migration python manage dot py make migrations uh, we haven't added this model to our settings dot py we can go up we can add over here home and we can hit python manage dot py make migrations okay first of all we need to install pillow because we are handling uh, what images so we can type pip install pillow cls make migration migrate let's go to models admins from dot models let's import blog and admin dot site dot register blog okay and also what we can here add dunder str method return self dot title okay now i think we are good to go now we can create a serializer serializer dot py and uh, we can from rest framework import serializer class blog serializer let's import from dot models what import what blog okay and let's pass let's use model serializer over here dot okay and add a class of meta and model will be blog and uh, exclude okay uh now we are good to go we can go to the views and uh, in this for this particular thing we will also be using what you can say uh api view so we can copy api view from ho over here if that's all thing uh, we need to remove this thing we can copy this thing and we can go to the views paste this and now we are good to go and from dot serializer we are going to import block serializer okay and let's add a class blog view and uh, for this what we are going to do is we are going to create a pass api view okay and uh, first of all let's add a post method self request okay and uh, try serializer okay first of all we need to get the data data is equal to request dot data then we can have open a serializer is equal to block serializer and what we can do is we need can pass data equal to data okay and uh, like blog accepts one uh, first of all we need to get which user is sending the request then because we are storing uh, user field over here so we need to get what user is like requesting first of all then we can modify that thing using uh, what we have used jwt so what we can do is we can go to the permission class uh, only authenticated user can access this particular api because uh, if you are not authenticated you cannot create any blog and you can read the blog but you cannot uh, you can say create the blog update the blog because we need a person we need a user that uh, 
authorization for like we we need to authorize something we need to authenticate before creating something so we can go to the permission classes and over here we can import to this thing uh, this one so is authenticated on this one okay let's cut this let's import this let's paste this so what we can do is we can permission classes is equal to this okay Let's remove this thing and we will have one more thing that's called uh, we have what is permission classes and we can go to this thing we can go we need to import JWT authentication class okay so from we can go to this thing from dot authentication let's import what j w t authentication and we can authentication class is equal to what j w t authentication okay so let's accept exception as e and uh, print of e okay so return response okay so now let's test this thing uh, are we able to get uh, hit the block view so first of all let's create urls.py then we can copy the same code which we have over done over here we can paste this thing we can uh, remove from home dot view let's import what blog view okay and uh, let's add blog and it will call blog view class let's remove this and let's go to the api view urls.py and here we can do what blog and here we can do home okay now let's go to a server let's boot up the server and let's hit the api block page not found let's go blog uh, just wait a minute uh here what we we have done it should be block but in here we can have a home okay so it should have home slash blog okay authentication credential was not provided so now what we need to do is we need to go over here we can copy we can paste we can put post we can hit then authentication credential was not provided we can go to again login okay and hit now you can see we are able to get the token and for authenticated authentication what we can do is you can come over here we need to add okay authentication bearer okay so for that this we can go to headers we can go to key authentication header and we can copy the access token we can copy this thing we can paste this over here okay authorization inherit from parent okay it should be let's send send we are able to get the response okay and also if you want to see uh, which user is authenticated we can go over here we can print what request dot user and uh, you will be see you will be seeing that which user is right now authenticated let's go and let's go over here so you can see abhijit 001 is now authenticated so now you are able to understand what we are doing so over here we need to modify the data so what we can do is data dot data of user is equal to 
request dot user dot id okay and now what we can do is if say lizer dot is valid we can copy that thing from here over here if it's valid if it's not valid we can throw the errors which we got from the serializer okay and otherwise what we can do is we can call serializer dot save method and uh, we can return the data which we uh, this one in data we can pass serializer dot data and over here we can like send the success message that uh, block created successfully okay now we can test this x thing and we can copy the exception code we can paste remove now like our blog view is done so let's go over here and uh, go to the body should send json if we send okay so now you can see title block test main page is required uh, main image is required okay so for the for sending images what we can do is we can create a form data and for title we can create a uh, this is my first blog and for block text we can add block text and for main image we can like file we can select the file from download let's add the file uh, okay let's add okay we can send this image and we now we can hit now you can see we are able to see the blog post okay let's remove this okay now you are able to see that like we are able to see uh, like create a blog post now what we can do is we can do what uh, let's suppose we want to get all the blog posts which a user has created so for this what we need to do is we can def get and self and request and let's like uh, create a try and blocks is equal to blog dot let's import a model as well from dot models import word blog and blog dot objects dot filter what user is equal to request dot user okay and uh, Serializer is equal to serializer blocks man equal to what true okay so let's add a exception code copy the exception code and now I think you are able to understand what I what I did so now you can see we are we are fetching all the block which a user has created and sending as a serialized, serialized data okay so now also what we can do is we can add a search filter so let's suppose a user want to search some specific blog because let's suppose a user has created thousands or you can say hundreds of blog and he wants some blog which has a like text or a title of this particular thing so we can filter that thing as well so what we can do is we can add the key parameter uh, over here if so let's first of all test this part particular thing now uh, then after that you will be able to see what I was saying okay so let's uh, go and let's hit up get API and let's hit uh, maybe server has stopped uh, okay what it, did it imported okay let's run now you can see token is invalid maybe our token has expired so now we can copy the new token we can grab we can update the token and authorization headers 
you can modify you can send now you can see we are able to get the block so let's suppose I want I'm creating a lot of epsom text let's copy okay okay so now if we will hit the get api now you can see this user has created the these many blog posts okay so i want to filter only specific blocks so how can i do that particular thing so what you can do is we can add a search key over here search is equal to and we can type anything so what we need to figure it out we can we need to figure it out how we can filter the data so like check if request dot get dot get search what we can do is we can uh, get the search key is equal to is equal to request dot get dot get search and we can blocks is equal to blocks dot filter we can import q from django dot db dot models import what q okay and q is equal to what title is equal to search or or what block text so what is block text go to what search so now we are able to figure it out how we can search so let's suppose i want to search a block which has a lorem text so we can add lorem and we can hit the send uh now i think there is no block okay what we need to do is we need to add i contains okay so let's uh, send so now you can see it's sending only the blog post which have a text of lorem uh, it's lorem over here it's maybe lorem over here okay and if i search something that's not available let's on that is only available in this thing so this will send only one block and if we pass something that's totally not acceptable then you can see a uh, block fit successfully that means there is no such block which contains this text okay and also what we can do is we can uh, add more apis for updating and for deleting blog post okay so get and post we have already done now we will see how we can add a put api okay you can say we will be seeing a patch api so def patch and self request we can copy this thing and first of all we need to check whether the blog which a user has sent he has created that particular blog or not otherwise like let's suppose i have created some blog so someone else should not be able to update that blog or someone uh, else should not be able to you can say delete that particular blog only admin has the right to do this or the user who has created this blog post can only update or you can say delete that particular blog so what we can do is we can check first of all we can query the blog okay so uh, what we can do is blog is equal to okay so blog dot objects dot filter or you can say uid is equal to data dot get uid okay block dot object dot filter uid and if let's check if request dot user is equal is equal to block dot user if not if this is not if this is not the case we can return a message you are not authorized to do this okay 
otherwise what we can do is we can run an update query so uh, serializer is equal to block serializer and we can pass block of zero also we need to check if this particular block exists or not so we can do what if block dot exist if not copy this thing we can paste we can throw an error in valid blog uid okay uh, otherwise we can do this thing and and we can copy the same code from here okay we can copy the exception code we can paste okay so for the first first of all what we are doing we all we are checking that whether the uid which has been passed from the front end is a correct uid or not if that is not a correct uid we are sending that uh, invalid blog uid message and uh, again we are checking whether that particular user uh, has created that particular blog or not if not the case we are sending you are not authorized to this and uh, otherwise we are like up running our updating updation query so what we can do is we can run or oh, go over here and we can copy this thing we can paste this thing and we can hit a patch request uh with you can say let's suppose we want to get the block uh maybe we have the token has been expired we can copy this token copy this we can go to the you can say uh, headers we can update we can copy the same thing we can go over here authorization headers authorization we can paste the value and uh, we can get the block we can remove search so let's suppose i want to update the title of this particular block what we can do is we can copy the uid we can go over here we can go raw we can go json we can paste this thing we can add a title this is a new title and we can hit uh, something went wrong watch okay sorry we don't need to pass the obj we can just pass the blog okay and we can hit mm -mm -mm. Uh, invalid accepted dictionary but got a block what's the error okay now let's go hit now you can see this is a new title let's suppose we want to update some new title again we can hit the new title is updated we can go over here now you can see this is a new title now let's go to the delete api how can how we can delete the thing we need to copy this thing we can go over here def delete self request Uh, block dot object we are checking whether uh, the whether the uid which ha which user has passed is a valid uid or not and again we are checking like uh, the person who has created the block can only delete that particular block so we are adding this you can say piece of a code so otherwise if everything is good what we can do is block dot objects dot or otherwise we can see block of zero dot delete okay and we can return a success response that we have deleted the blog post data is equal to this blog deleted okay let's do the delete request 
let's go over here uh, patch let's go delete block deleted successfully let's hit now you can see that block particular block was deleted and if again we will hit this thing you can see invalid block uid and if you want to delete this block as well so we can copy this uid and we can paste we can hit block deleted now you are able to see now we want we need to create an api where most of the user can read the blog post okay and uh, for that particular thing we can create a, again a api view class or you can say class uh, public blog view public blog and it will take api view and let's take a get dev get self request and we can copy the same thing uh, over here try block object dot and we can do all okay and now also we need to add a pagination because let's suppose uh, there are thousands of blogs so we need to add a pagination we can limit the blog post to 10 and if someone wants to see more blog he can click on he can send the next page you can say in the in the request parameter so he should be able to see the next 10 blog after that if he passes some three parameter then he can see next three pages of that particular blog post so what we can do is we can first of all add the pagination over here and after that also let's suppose there are thousands of blog posts and we need to fetch the random blogs okay so we cannot send the latest blog we cannot send uh, the last three blogs we need to fetch the random blog because there are thousands of blogs so we want each and every user should should read when, every time when he when he comes to the you can say our website or you can say uh, uh, hit the blog api he should be able to see all the random blog posts otherwise uh, you can say the interest will be at a lower side so we don't don't want to do that particular thing so now we will see how we can add a pagination and uh, how we can fetch the random data from the database and we can serialize that particular thing and send to the front end so let's do that thing so now let's add pagination and how we can see how we can get the random data from the database so for pagination what we can do is we can paste this line of code okay uh, and uh, we can remove this thing and paginator and for paginator we can import paginator from django dot core dot paginator import paginator okay so now we can paginate to like one and let's test this thing so let's suppose we are sending empty request now you can see this uid 6692 and let's suppose we want page of two so it will throw an error okay what's the error uh, page not found just a second oh sorry we need to add a question mark over here so now you can say 6692 and if we pass two over here now you will see the uid is changing so this is working now pagination is working and uh, what we can do is uh, or invalid page okay let's suppose someone wants to enter some random page number so it will throw another something went wrong wrong or invalid page number okay so now i think this is done now what we can do is how we can get the random data from the database so let's suppose uh, right now we are sending five you can say blog post or you can say two blog post okay so now you will be able to see like how we can uh, no 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 five okay uh, now we need to see how we can pull random data from the database so just a one trick we can do this we can do order by question mark okay now let's see uh let don't pass any page now you can see this is a first block 6692 let's hit again now you can see uh 970 and 6692 nine. okay 970 and every time you can see 
our blog post you can say indexes changes so now it throwing an random data from the database okay and it's paginating so i think this one is good to go now we are able to successfully uh, we have completed our you can say blog project uh, now what we can do is we can create the blog post first of all we can authenticate using jwt next we can create a blog from the user let's suppose a user want to create a blog he can create the blog he can uh, get its own blog which a user has created he can uh, like uh, you can say update a blog or he can delete a blog and also uh, if if a user hasn't logged in he can see the random blog post okay uh, and also we have added search functionality so if someone wants to search something let's suppose someone want to search uh, you can say one okay one of this blog so no blog contains this we can type law them so you can see with the help of law them we are able to see these many blocks law them will be there you can see law them uh, let's suppose come from section we pass let's hit now this is the only block which has some text called comes from section okay so now we can like uh, search the block we can uh, do each and everything which a blog post or you can say a blogging application should have okay so this is it for the video and i hope you people have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed please do hit a subscribe button to scalar academy and for more such videos stay tuned